So, Dan, congratulations on joining Dunfermline. First of all, just tell us your initial thoughts on signing for the club. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm delighted to sign for the club. It's a, it's a massive club. I mean, whenever I've played against Dunfermline, especially away, you realise uh, how good the stadium is, how many support, how many fans and supporters they get in the ground. And um, I know a few lads who've played here. Um, you've got your Reese McCabe, Willie Gibson, Fasel El Bakhtui, who I lived with, and uh, every single one of them spoke so highly of the place. And um, they've all said how massive of a club it is. And since I've been here this last week and obviously seen the facilities, the training uh, pitches, the, the ground and everything, uh, it's amazing, yeah. It's great to be here. When you got the chance this summer to come in on trial and, and play a few games and try and win a deal, what was your thoughts? Was it something that you jumped at? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've played 50, 60 times in the league now. Um, but again, as I've said to everyone, um, that doesn't mean you've got a God-given right to just turn up the Dunfermline and say you should be given a deal. Um, so I came in here with a mindset of that I need to impress, I need to, to give my all. And uh, I've obviously I've obviously done that and impressed the manager. And uh, thankfully, I've been rewarded. And um, for me now, it's just to kick on and, first of all, try and get my name on that team sheet and um, show the fans that I'm a good player. And uh, I'm more than just, obviously, what I did at Queen of the South. I want to try and take it up a level and... Uh, and yeah, because obviously you've got to, when you come to a bigger club, you're expected to, to perform better, to, to win games. Um, so everything changes. So yeah, I'm more than ready. When you look back at the, the period that you've had on trial, the, the, the training, the, the friendly matches that you've played in, what was it that you, you liked about the way Peter Grant and his management team were, were going about things? What, how do you feel that that maybe suits your attributes? Um, obviously, from my time at Queens, I'm a I'm a very high intensity. Um, I get around the pitch well, but I never really got to show that I'm a decent player on the ball. Um, and obviously, I know the gaffer here wants to play total football. Um, so obviously, that's very attractive. Um, and I came in and first training session, the possession drills, the little games was the standard was just through the roof. So obviously, you want to be a part of that. And when you get the little taste, you want to you want more of it. So. So yeah, I wanna I wanna take what I've learned at Queens, obviously, into my games, but also I wanna improve as a player and uh, show that I'm more than more than what I was at Queens as well. As you said, you've played just over fifty games for Queen of the South, so um, you know exactly what to expect now of the Scottish Championship. But yeah. something that I found interesting when I was doing my my research there was the fact that before you joined Queen of the South, you had a stint abroad as well. How do you feel that's maybe going to help you um, trying to to kick on here at Dunfermline? How yeah, I mean, I mean, I've had a good youth spring and I was at Sunderland for 10 years and Bradford City for two years. And I was lucky enough to be given a chance to go play in Norway, um, which again was an amazing experience, different culture, different way of playing. Um, so all that helps, obviously, moving away from home and everything. I'm from Newcastle, um, but none of that will be a problem. Obviously, I just want to come here and perform and do the best I can and uh, show everyone that, that I deserve to be here. Dunfermline over the last few years have been up there challenging for the playoffs. Um, do you feel that coming into the squad from what you've seen of the players and training and, and the friendly matches so far that finishing higher than the fourth position that we finished in last year is more than achievable. 100%. I mean, from the minute I've been in, the, the gaffer's mindset is to win the league. and um, We don't just want to finish in the top four. We want to be pushing for the league and uh, as high up as possible. And I mean, uh, it'll be nice to have some of the players as teammates this season, not as uh, obviously against me, because some of them have obviously very, very good players. And it's, uh, it's always a tough game coming here or when they came to Parmesan's to play against them. Um, so, yeah, the standard's so high. There's obviously some real, real good good players in the group. And, um, yeah, I, I expect and I, I truly believe that the team will be up there come the end of the season. The manager mentioned in his first interview that he goes into every game to win it and ultimately, at the end of the day, he wants to win the league and get them firm on into yeah. the Premiership. I'm guessing your ambitions are aligned with us. 100%. I mean, when the opportunity came to come to Dunfermline, it's obviously a bit of a different mindset to Queen of the South. That's no disrespect. Um, obviously, here you're expected to win games. You're expected to be in the top four minimum, um, which is what you want to be part of as a player. You want to be part of 
a winning group. You want to be part of a club which wants to go forward, which obviously this this is a massive, massive club who, who want to be out of the league and the fans obviously expect that and they want that. So as a player, like I said, you want to be a part of that and you go into every game with the mindset of that, yeah, we're going to win the game no matter who you're playing, uh, whether that be the Dog and Duck United on Saturday or Barcelona on the Tuesday, you go into every game and you want to win. When um, you look at the fixtures coming up, obviously coming thick and fast with the Premier Sports Cup group stages starting up just next weekend. So um, does that really get you excited now that you're signed up and, and got that chance to really now go for a few weeks training, fight for your place and really um, show everybody what you're about right from the off? 100%. Um, obviously, you want the games to come. Obviously, nobody likes pre-season. Um, first of all, hopefully the fans can be back in sooner rather than later. But yeah, definitely, you need these games, the cup games, um, which, by the way, we want to go as far as possible in the cup and win every game possible. Um, but again, for somebody like me who's new and uh, is coming from maybe a team is which isn't as high, highly maybe regarded as what Dunfermline are, um, these are, this is a great opportunity for me to come in and really show what I'm about and show that that I should be playing and uh, that I, I'm not just going to be a bit part player. I'm obviously here to, to play as many games as I possibly can. So it's a great opportunity for me to, to like you say, show the fans what I'm about and uh, show them that I'm good enough to play for the club. So, yeah. It's been great speaking to you. Welcome to the club once again and good luck for the rest of the season. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.